For years, Alienware basically avoided making thin and light gaming laptops, opting instead to make slightly bulkier systems with more affordable pricing. But all that changed last year with the introduction of its X-Series notebooks. And now, Alienware is pushing its quest for sleekness even further with the new X14, the company's thinnest and lightest gaming laptop yet. Let's start with its looks. Sporting Alienware's Legend 2.0 design language, the X14 is undoubtedly a striking system. But ultimately, you'll need to decide how much you dig that sci-fi aesthetic. What's not in question, though, is the laptop's thinness, which stands at just 0.57 inches thick while weighing barely more than four pounds. Now, I don't normally care a ton when device makers shave an ounce or a tenth of an inch off a device. But on the X14, that weight savings matters. That's because while most gaming laptops don't even come close to fitting in any of my bags, the X14 does, if just barely. Just watch out for that wide button back. The impact of this is that I'm much more likely to bring this thing with me on trips, which is kind of the whole point of a thin and light gaming notebook. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate beastly 17 inch gaming rigs, but when my back starts to hurt as soon as I even think about carrying one around, those systems often function more like mobile desktops than any sort of portable gaming machine. The main innovation on the X14 is Alienware's new dual torque hinge, which adds strength and stability to the laptop's display, while again reducing weight and thickness. And, as you'd expect from Alienware, the X14 comes with customizable RGB lighting on its lid and keyboard. That said, compared to its larger siblings, you do lose the extra light ring that would normally outline the system's rear ports. And on the inside, there's a lovely soft touch finish on the X14's wrist rest. Though I should mention that while I didn't have an issue with it, I wouldn't be surprised if people with larger hands thought it felt a bit cramped. When it comes to screens, the X14 only has a single display option, but it's a pretty good one. The 144Hz 1920 by 1080 screen is plenty sharp, while support for NVIDIA's G-Sync helps prevent screen tearing while gaming. But the thing that impressed me the most is the way colors pop. When I first turned it on, I actually thought the screen might be an OLED panel. And while its black levels aren't quite deep enough for that, thanks in part to support for Dolby Vision HDR, colors look rich and vibrant, regardless of whether you're gaming or watching a movie. And with a tested brightness of just under 400 nits, the X14 screen looks good in both dim and sun-filled rooms. You just might want to avoid gaming in direct sunlight. And thanks to Dolby Atmos, the X14 speakers sound good too, and quite loud. Though despite having upward firing speakers, sometimes they still sounded a bit distant to me, or just not as quite as full as you might expect. The other issue is that the speakers are almost too powerful, because when volume is set to 80% or higher, sometimes I even heard the laptop's chassis rattle and that's never a good sound. While the X14 isn't quite as powerful as its larger siblings and doesn't have the space to accommodate beefier GPUs, Alienware's thinnest gaming laptop still punches well above its weight class. And it's also one of the first systems we tested featuring Intel's new 12th gen mobile CPUs. I was easily able to hit 60 FPS on high settings in a number of AAA games like Halo Infinite, and you can push things even higher if you don't mind fiddling with graphic settings. For people more focused on getting a competitive advantage, maxing out the X14's 144Hz display is a cinch in titles like CSGO on lower settings, which is probably what you'd use anyways if you really cared about frame rates. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider on highest settings, the X14 averaged 102 frames per second, with similar results in Far Cry 5 of 96 frames per second on Ultra. And while the X14 posted slightly lower average frame rates of 55 FPS in Metro Exodus on Ultra, lowering the game's texture settings just a touch was more than enough to boost frame rate firmly back above 60 FPS. Remarkably, despite limited space inside for cooling, Alienware's proprietary Element 31 thermal paste and vapor chamber, which by the way, only come on systems with RTX 36 GPUs, did a good job of preventing throttling from becoming a major issue. The downside, though, is that the X14 fans are pretty aggressive, often spinning up the instant you launch a game, while producing a somewhat high-pitched whine that you cannot really escape unless you put on some headphones. He was looking for something. Thankfully, Alienware's Command Center app supports a number of thermal profiles, including a quiet setting, to help you reduce fan noise, though you won't get the system's max performance if you turn it on. Okay, trying to cram a full-size keyboard with media and controls on a 14-inch laptop is always a bit of a challenge. And while the X14 generally makes good use of space, it ain't perfect. The function keys are half-sized, and even the X14's keycaps are a touch smaller than what you'd get on Dell's non-gaming systems like an XPS 15. 
And if you use the delete key a lot, watch out because it's really close to the X14's power button. On the flip side, I do appreciate the extra row of media keys on the right, which includes an always useful mic mute button. Look, I'm not gonna say the X14's keyboard is a deal breaker, but it will take more time to adjust than usual. As for the touchpad, it's definitely on the small side. Though on gaming laptops, having a small touchpad is a bit more forgivable since most gamers typically prefer to use an external mouse anyway. Meanwhile, when it comes to ports, Alienware definitely didn't skimp. The X14 features three USB-C ports, two of which support Thunderbolt 4, one USB 3.2 Type-A port, HDMI 2.1, a combo audio jack, and even a micro SD card slot, which you don't really find a lot on gaming laptops. I would have liked to see an Ethernet port too, but my only real gripe with the X14 ports is that they are located around back. Putting all the ports in the rear of the system does help cut down on clutter, but when you just want to insert something like a thumb drive, spinning the laptop around to do so feels clunky, especially if you have any other peripherals plugged in. Also, just don't expect much from the X14 720p webcam. It's fine in a pinch, but the fairly low resolution combined with mediocre image quality means you'll probably want to use an external webcam for live streaming. The X14's battery life varies a ton depending on how you use it. If you're just browsing the web or streaming video, the X14 won't quite last through an entire workday, but it's not too bad. On our local video rundown test, the X14 lasted just short of eight hours. However, if you have any dreams of actually gaming without plugging in, you might want to just squash those now. I found that while playing Teamfight Tactics, which isn't a demanding game at all, the X14 conked out after just an hour and 15 minutes. That said, I do want to give Alienware kudos for giving the X14 a USB-C power cable instead of a proprietary charger like you get on so many other gaming laptops. Because it's USB-C, you can use it to charge other devices like a phone or a tablet, potentially reducing the number of cords you need to carry around while traveling. How's that for packing light? Look. The X14 might not be quite as powerful as its bigger siblings, but putting an RTX 3060 in a sleek 14-inch body delivers a great balance of size and performance. When compared to a similarly equipped X15, the X14's bigger brother only costs about $50 less. That means the main trade-offs are that the X14 has a little less thermal headroom, a more cramped keyboard, and a slightly slower 144Hz screen. That's not a lot to sacrifice for an even more travel-friendly, thin and light design. That said, if you don't need a new gaming laptop right this instant, the smart move would be to wait a month or two for Alienware's competitors to release updated systems for 2022. Both Razer and Asus are coming out with refetched versions of their 14-inch gaming laptops later this spring, and once those become available, we'll have a much better idea of how the X14 really fares against its biggest rivals. But if you like this combination of style and sleekness, the X14 is a slick gaming laptop that's made to move. And that's about it for now. So don't forget to throw us a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon from Engadget.